Okay guys, so the first request is actually coming from Vali John Rahimov and he wants to know how to actually be in control of redirecting the user when the user logs in. So depending on if the user is admin or not, so how are we going to redirect the user? Okay, so I'll just go ahead and do something fast. What we're gonna do is simply create an authentication system and we're gonna have two categories of users, admins and non-admins, okay? So when the admin logs in, he goes to admin slash dashboard and when the normal user logs in, he goes to the home, okay? So for this, we're gonna have to run php rs and make auth and after this, we're going to have our own authentication system. So our own login and register system, when the user logs in, we, we are going to be the ones in control of that so for that we need to create our own custom login controller so just go ahead and create a controller php artisan make controller login controller okay so we have a controller right here and this controller is going to take care of logging in users but before we actually go into that i'd like to show you php artisan route list Okay, so in the route list, we discovered that there are some routes that are already registered. So we have the login, the lo the post login, the post logout, and the password email, and all that. So all of these routes are actually registered in our web.php, and they were registered when we run php artisan make auth. Okay, so we are not going to be using some of these routes. For example, the post lo login. Okay, this is what we are going to be changing. So we want the user to sign up normally, and uh, and uh, we are going to log the user in using our own strategy okay so we're gonna do custom login controller like we just created okay so but in an application you might want to change the whole authentication system with this which is okay but right here we're just gonna change the login authentication okay but first i'd like to make a little change into my application so that we'll have two different types of users so right here i'm gonna have a field and this is gonna be a boolean so I'll just say boolean and uh, this is going to be admin okay and by default the user who logs who registers is not an administrator okay so I'll just go now to my browser to my application and register two users and one is going to be admin one is not going to be okay so I'll say catchy and friends at email.com and the password and password and I should migrate that to my database php artisan migrate okay that's migrated i'll just refresh here and the user is locked in okay and by default that user is not an administrator so i'll register another user and this time around we'll use tinker to make him an administrator okay so right here i'll just say france and uh, this will be france at admin.com and the password password Okay, so he was also redirected, but he's not an administrator. So right here, we'll say php artisan tinker. So I'll say php artisan tinker, and uh, we'll find the user with ID of two. So app user find. So that's the user. And we'll change the admin to be equal to one. And we'll save that. So we'll say save. Okay, so now the second user is an administrator now we'll go and head and make our custom login okay so right here we'll have the login it means we're gonna edit that so that it should be custom so we are gonna go to our login.blade.php and we're gonna define where the login goes to so it's not gonna go to slash login we're gonna put a custom route so that we customize this the way we want so we'll go ahead and say go to the route called login custom login.custom and uh, right here, this is where we're going to process our login. So we'll go to our web.php and uh, we are going to define a new route. So we'll say route post and this will be slash login custom. And this is going to take an array and it's going to use the login controller and it's going to use the login function. And the name of this route is going to be what we defined, which is login.custom. Okay, so in our login controller right here, we'll create a login method. And this method will just die dump everything. So the request, okay, so means we have to receive an instance of the request right there. Okay, so we receive an instance of the request and we'll die dump it. So let's go ahead and try to log in. 
So I'll say catchyfriends.com and the password is gonna be password. Okay, I have to refresh that so that the, the link to where it's posting will change. And I'll try that again. Okay, so it's going to our route, so email and password. So we're receiving the email and the password. So now we need to actually authenticate the user using our own custom method of authentication. Okay, so we'll go ahead and check if auth attempt. So we'll attempt to authenticate the user with these details that have been provided. So we'll say if auth attempt, and this is going to take an array of key pairs. And the first is going to take is the email, since we are using the email to authenticate the user. And we'll go ahead and say the request email is what we are comparing with. And the next is the password. And we're going to say request password. If this method is successful and if it turns it true, right here, what we are going to do is actually find that particular user and redirect to the intended dashboard. Okay. So since we have two categories of users, we have the administrators and we have the normal users. Right here, we'll have another if statement and we're going to find the user. Okay. So first of all, let's find that user. So we'll say user where the email is equal to the request email that we received. Okay, so since our emails are unique in our database, we can go ahead and use the email to find the user. So I'll say get the first result. So this will be user equals this. So as soon as we find that user, we'll say if the user is admin, and we're just going to create this method that is going to check if the user is an administrator. And uh, if the user is an administrator, then return redirect to a route and uh, we can call this route dashboard. Okay. So if the user is an administrator, return to the dashboard. Okay. And else, if the user is not an administrator, we'll just return redirect to whatever route we want. Okay. So we'll go ahead and say the home route. Okay. So this is the key. Okay. So this is what this tutorial is all about. So as soon as we authenticate our use our user manually we'll be able to find that user who we just authenticated and if the user is admin and then we'll redirect to the dashboard if the user is not an admin we'll redirect to home so let's take care of this is admin method so in our user.php right here we're gonna create an is admin method so public function and this is admin method will just compare if this user right here admin return true and else return false okay so this admin field in our database is either true or false okay so if it's a true then it's going to return true and if it's false it's going to return false okay so we can actually just use the admin the admin right here but just so we have cleaner code we'll just go and say is admin so right now first our user tries to log in we'll go ahead and remove this and the user tries to log in we validate the email and password if they correspond then we'll find that user and we look for where to redirect that user to. Okay. So if the authentication is not successful right here, we'll just redirect the user back. Okay. And we should return that. Okay. So hopefully this should work. Let's go ahead and try it out. So we'll go back and I totally forgot my database details. So I'll say PHP artisan tinker. I'll say app user all. And uh, right here, the password is friends at email.com for the normal user and effort admin.com for the administration user. Okay. So here we have use app user. Okay. So if we log in as admin, we should probably receive an error because obviously we don't have the dashboard route set up yet. So let's go ahead and try this. Auth not found. Sorry, guys. So use off the facade so so let's go ahead and try that again friends at email password route home not found okay so this is working perfectly because remember we said if the user is a normal user redirect to the route home and if the user is an administrator redirect to the dashboard so for us to actually see that it's working let's create those routes so here we have a route for the post and uh, we're going to create a route group and the right here, this group is going to be protected by the authentication middleware and the right here would have two routes. So the get and this is going to be slash home and uh, this is going to say, so just return the view home 
and uh, this one is gonna be to our dashboard so we'll go ahead and say dashboard home and uh, we would go ahead and give them names so the name of this the name of this would be home like we defined and the name of this one right here would be dashboard okay so just for avoiding errors we'll go ahead and create dashboard dot blade dot php and uh, we'll just copy everything in here and paste it right there but we're gonna move everything in here and just say h1 dot text center and it would say dashboard okay so that should work perfectly let's go ahead and see that again so password login and it returns to the home because this user that we try to use is actually a normal user so let's log out and log in with the admin details so login we'll say f at admin.com and the password is password so login okay so i'm redirected to dashboard right here because i am an administrator okay and uh, it's like the redirect to dashboard is returning the wrong view so right here it's supposed to be the dashboard view okay so redirect to dashboard should give us this view right here that's working perfectly so i think it's really working so just before i stop the video let me just go ahead and explain what we did first of all the main key of this tutorial was actually to have our own authentication system to log in the user the registration wasn't really a problem so that we will to see how we can control where the user goes to after login okay so first of all we registered two users the first one was not an administrator and the second one was an administrator and we dif differentiated between these two users using our create users table where we added an administrator role right there okay so first when we register we have a known administrator and then we go in ahead and created an administrator so when the user is logging in the first thing that we did is actually change where the use the login route is directing to so in our form in the login.blade.php we made sure that it's directing to our own custom login route which we define in our web.php okay so right here we have a custom login route and this is using the login controller and it's using the login method okay so right here what we do is as soon as we receive the credentials we make sure that this user exists in the database so we call the auth the attempt method and this attempt method would first of all check if there's an email as such if there's the email then it's gonna check if the password that we're passing right here is equals to the hash password in the database if yes then it's gonna call auth login on this particular user okay so once the user is locked in which means this if statement passed we're gonna find the user when we find the user we'll check if the user is an administrator or not and we are using an its admin method right here which is in our user.php and this method simply checks if the admin field in the database for that user is true or false so if it's true then it return true and if it's false it return false okay so as soon as we are done with that check if the user is an administrator we redirect to the dashboard and if the user is not an administrator we just redirect him to home okay and if actually the user the sign in was a failure we just redirect the user back to where he's coming from okay so that's how it is and uh, for further implementation of the application you can go ahead and create custom middleware so i don't think it's really a good idea to implement uh or use third-party packages when you're using an application with just two different roles okay so you can go ahead and implement it using just a simple boolean admin function in your database so you can create custom routes and customize how this works okay so thank you i really hope you learned something see you in the next one